Hi everyone, welcome to the video. In this video, we are going to see uh, testing and assertion, how it works inside the Bruno, what we use under the hood. As we mentioned in our documentation, we use a chat library and how we can get started. How we can test your APIs for different endpoints where you have to check your value is passing as a JSON, is an object, is a number, and different scenarios where you have to check your headers values for the authorization. How you can write your different test cases. How you can utilize uh, two different sections which we provide in Bruno as an assertion and a uh, task cases where in assertion you don't need to write any script you can use inbuilt expressions and inbuilt utility functions to write your test cases for handy which is really handy and uh, time saving you don't need to write any complex script there you don't write you don't need to write any code and for the test where you can write a more complex script for your testing different scenarios and different aspects of your APIs how you can get started using assertion uh, assert and testing uh, sections in Bruno, let's get started. So let's start with the documentation first. So in Bruno, we mentioned that we use a child library under the hood. So whatever the syntax, mostly the people are familiar with and child the library which is widely used for the testing. So this is a normal or uh, simplest syntax that every QA engineer or testing or software developer follows to write test cases. So you can use a simple and same syntax while writing your test cases. So here's the child library. You can read a documentation with all the syntax, expect, uh, is defined and include and all, all those stuff. Uh, there's some benefit and here is the syntax and here is the example how it looks like in Bruno. So as you can see in a screenshot that test is a section where you have to write all these scripts. You will put all the scripts and you will get a response here. You get a two different sections as a test and assertion. And this is all about the test. Let's go into assertion. In assertion, how you can create assertions? So you can go to assert tab. This is your API which is echo Bruno endpoint. Feel free to use this endpoint which is publicly available and you can write these test cases and you can execute this and you'll get a response like this. So you can actually write the test cases. In this video, we are going to see everything from 0 to 100 and let's get started. So here is a Bruno. I have this uh, Echo Bruno endpoint. Again, feel free to use. So this is a GitHub API and Swappy uh, which is a part of my Echo Bruno collection. So this is something that I recently built with a GitHub uh, dashboard and I shared a video on my YouTube channel as well. Why, how you can use a dashboard for that using a GitHub API. And Swappy is something which I recently found, which I'm uh, using for my personal use case, uh, for my personal uh, requirement. But let's start with the Echo Bruno, which is the endpoint which you're going to use. Uh, go to body and you have to select the JSON data because we are going to pass a JSON data with a multiple value just like a string, uh, numbers, boolean and we are going to write a test cases on that uh, for the different scenarios and let's get started so for first value you are going to put is bruno and the second value you are going to put is age so age would be bruno is six now and the third value is going to put is the role what is the role of bruno we'll keep it simple and we'll keep it right the role of bruno if you go to official bruno website we will see uh, bruno role and i'm taking this value from there and at the last we are going to pass is this smart yes which is going to boolean value which is true and yes bruno is the smart keep it chief officer and add this port and we are done so right now if we execute this so we will see the same response which are uh, receiving so which is this that's how the echo bruno works whatever the data you send from your body you will receive the same data as a response we are getting 200 status code which is successful status code according to HTTP documentation. And we are going to write a test cases. So here is the assert and here is the test, two different sections. So we'll get started with the assert, which is simple, handy. You really don't need to write any script or any test cases. The simple expression operator and the what are the value you want to check for that particular expression. So I'm going to check, I want to check that my response dot body should be a JSON. So here are different values or different inbuilt functions, which we Bruno provides. Feel free to use every uh, function which is available here. We are not going to uh, test for the every function which is available here. I'm going to choose any selective values according to our API. So this is uh, equals. You can feel free to use all the functions which is available here. I'm not going to use all these functions because it take a lot of time. I'm going to show you some of the basic, some of the in a general, which probably all the QA and all the developers we use and this is the basic idea how you can get started with the assert. So I'm going to check response.body is equals to 200. So it just simply just execute this and it will show you, it will showing us response.body and we should not use body because it's a status which we want to check and it will turn into green because response.status is 200 now and we are receiving 200. So I want to check my response.body is JSON or not, which is again a Boolean value. 
and you don't need to pass anything in the value because it will show you true or false we receive that response dot body is json and it's turned into green if it's not green it will turn into red and that's how you recognize it. uh your test case is pass or fail so we'll keep it json and so i want to check response dot body dot name name length we'll check a length so response dot body length is five as one two three four bruno and if i execute this it will show me a length five and that's why it's turned into green so let's start with something something with a request so you can access a request on uh response both the sec uh, both the objects in test and in the assert tab as well but in the script the response uh, is available in the post response and request is available in a prescript so you can use according to that but in assert uh, request and response both the objects are available to use so feel free to write different test cases different scenarios because both of the objects are available here so request.url uh, is equal to uh, i'm not want to use is equal to i want just want to use a match here i just want to say that what if i have a, what if i test whole url and it will show me a so it won't going to uh, see uh, what it will receive if i say https still so yeah so matches value so if you want to check a particular uh, value or particular elements of your object or if your string with what are the expression you have so you can check for the both you can check for the whole content which you have or you can check for the specific value just we just tested with the whole value whole url and with the https so let's get started with uh, something different something basic uh, length matches let's start with the start with so if i say this phone dot body dot uh, role so it's starting from a chief java officer so it will add as a chief and will like so once we execute this it will say response dot body dot role start with chief so this is chief java officer and it's turned into green because the part of that so that's how we can use we'll use a last value here should be a number because i want to check my response dot body dot age the type of that so you can take it as a type where response dot body dot age is number and it's going to turn into red uh, turn into green because the response dot body dot age is a number and it's just true value so we seen the six different assertions but feel free to use different where you have to use not empty between start ends with uh, which is a simple as its name as you can see that values are pretty simple values are pretty easy to use you can write expression and you can provide operator there and add a value it depends like if you are using for a, a truth or false value you don't need to add anything it will automatically check for a true or false value uh, but if you are using anything else you have to provide a value just like a 200 uh, something according to your expression so feel free to use all the operators which is available here and test your scenarios with your api endpoint so right now we'll start with the test section so the use case of the test section is to write a complex script to give the more control over the what you want to use or what you want to test for api so the limitation of assert or not say limitations but the use case of a of assertion tab is to quickly test quickly give the handy uh, without writing any script you don't need to remember any syntax that's the easiest of and that's the use case of the assert tab but in the test if you want to check for the more uh, different scenarios is complex script or take a more control on what you want to test so you can use that test so syntax which we follow as i already shown you uh, in the documentation that this is the syntax which we follow and you can follow the same syntax so people who are use child library so here is a there is a just a breakdown how it works or how what is the purpose of adding this test so test is a function you can say and inside that you have to put a test case title what you want to check i want to check the response status is equal to 200 and this is a call back function which you have to pass and that's it that's the syntax that's how it works and you have to put your expression here as you this is the expression so this is the same expression you have to add here but some more uh, addition to a syntax so you have to write expect object and inside that you have to mention what you want to check i want to check that response dot status to equal and you have to pass the value so we will receive the value uh, 200 so as i already shared that once you write a task cases and assertion you will get two different sections where you can see you can track all the assertions and you can track your all your uh, test cases in two separate sections so which is more easy to understand that these are the test cases and these are the assertions not a merging thing not a no confusion there so here is the two things uh, one thing i want to mention here 
So this is how you can write a task. You can write a different test cases. If you want this kind of test cases, which is more readable, so you can write a separate test cases for each. Or if you want to just, or if you have one function where you want to use everything into a single block, you want to write everything in a single block, you can also do that by adding a multiple expressions here. And and if everything turns into green, everything is passed, so it will going to show everything like everything is passed with the title of that test cases. But we are going to write a diff, uh, separate test cases because it is more readable and it, it will not create any confusion that which test case is passing or which is failing. So I want to check that my response.body should have a name property or not. Response.body response should have name property. I will say response.body dot name to equal Bruno. I will change the title because it is not similar that we are writing as a uh, expression response body equal response body name and I will say is equal to Bruno. You can write, you can put any title. Uh, it's up to you on your choice. It's nothing something that your test case is going to fail if you don't put a right title it's not going to happen you can put any title i just want to make sure that whatever i'm adding as a title it makes sense for the expression which i'm writing here that's why i'm add that's why I just try to make sure that you are adding a meaningful title to your test cases so if i execute this and uh, it will give me a two different uh two different uh test and first one is we are checking for 200 and status code second one we are checking for name should be a bruno so let's start with or let's see some other stuff. So I'll just quickly copy this and I will just change the title that uh, I want to check response age is number and same functionality, same expression which you can write here and express response.body.age to be a so it's just a syntax. If you if you want to learn about this two equal, when to use two equal to to use or when to use have two property or to have or to be a so everything is available on the chai documentation. So if you go to this library, you can check for the documentation. They have guide and to go here, you can see assert and you can see all this assert type of, you can see to be a, to equal, to have length of and a bunch of stuff. So you can check for that and I'm not going to show every expression. Uh, feel free to check the chat documentation. But here we are uh, doing some basic stuff to get started. So expect response.body.age to be a number. I want, I want to check this for the number let's check the title one response age is number okay response body dot age to be a number and it's number so it's going to be turned into green so let's check for the name uh it should be a string and we'll just simply change this to be a string and to change the title response name response save this if execute this it's going to show us a number we'll check for any other scenarios let's see uh, to check the length uh, for the name so i want to check response name verify you can uh, again you can add some meaningful title i just want to be a meaningful and something that relevant to uh, my expression so verify response name response name length of five verify response name length of five response dot body dot name to length of i just want to check uh, i'm not sure like it might be going to give us an error I'm not sure about the syntax but let's check. verify respond dot name dot invalid chat property length did you mean by okay we have a spelling mistake alien ght uh length of is not a function we have check uh, to have a length of three and let let's see like it will work or not we delete this and let's say to have length of missing semicolon so we have to add here dot and turn into grin as the similar documentation or the similar syntax which we are following in bruno so it's doing the same thing, uh, respond.body.name to have a length of five. And that's how you can do. So that's how uh, you can check with the length property. So uh, if you want to check the particular value that you are receiving, uh, should have a length of fixed length, which you are expecting, should have that or not. So you can test for that. So we'll check for the headers. And I want to check headers should have property. Headers should have property content type. I will write a function and, and that's it and that's how it that's what you have to do here and I'm just checking for my expression where I have to write uh, expect response dot headers to have property content type so yes we have if you go to timeline if you check here and if you see the response and if you see the header type the content type I have application json so these are the my headers which I'm receiving and inside that I'm accessing that response dot header to have property content type so uh, headers are the content type property so it's going to be a definitely going to be a pass so let's see execute that and as you can see this uh, header should have property content type which is application json so it's passing 